Premiere Pro is powerful and when you open it up, it feels like you're coming home. Well, I don't know about you, but when I open up Premiere, things get real messy sometimes. Today we're gonna test the limits of some awesome features starting with Generative Extend. To use this feature, make sure you download the beta app from the Creative Cloud application. Generative Extend allows you to use AI to extend your video. Let's say you want this clip to be longer but you ran out of video. You also don't want to slow it down because that will give you a choppy frame rate. Instead, click the Generative Extend tool in the toolbar and click and drag the clip to make it longer using AI. This tool will Will now generate new frames. Let's see how it does on an aerial shot, on a driving car, on a close-up and on my own face. Let's start with the drone shot. So you just drag it out and let Premiere do its AI magic. There we go, let's see. Oh wow, that actually looks great. I can see this little shift in brightness once the AI generated part is here, but hey, maybe we can fix this with a little bit of lemmetry. You can still see it, but I mean, it's not that bad. Let's try the same thing with a drifting car. There we go. Let's Let's take a look. Very nice, but it looks a little like clay. Don't you think? Let's see what it can do with our birdie. Wow, it makes a weird movement and it looks kind of dead. But other than that, awesome. Now I'm very curious how it will extend my own face. Let's take a look. Same thing as with the bird. It looks a little bit dead. I don't really move anymore. But I think that if you use this once in your video, you wouldn't notice. Unfortunately, this only works for a few seconds and it only works in 1080p. Also, it's very slow. The second tool we're pushing to the limits is the dynamic link between Premiere and After Effects. So I added this Premiere logo to the timeline and I want to create an animation with it. So right click it and choose replace with After Effects composition. Now in here, let's fast forward to a simple animation with motion blur. So in After Effects, this plays back without an issue. But now let's save it and go back to Premiere. Well, that actually plays back smoothly. Now this went all right, but I'm not done with the dynamic link yet. I want to put some text behind me and that requires rotoscoping. Alright, so I basically duplicated this clip and rotoscope myself out. That way I can add text in between those two layers. And that will then appear behind me. This already feels heavy in After Effects, so I wonder how it will play back in Premiere. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Now luckily you can always right click your linked composition and choose render and replace. That will turn it into a regular video clip which makes it play back fine. But we shouldn't have to do this for something this simple. Adobe fix your sh Number 3. The text panel. So once you open it up, you might as well close it up as fast as you can because it's a real mess. I'm just being honest. No. Instead, let me show you a great AI tool that actually works. Sling AI is a tool that basically edits your video for you. All you need to do is drag your recording into Gling. You just select what you want it to do and when it's ready, you can just drag it in Premiere. And you can still edit your videos as you want. The source will remain untouched. Now let's go a little bit more in depth. So with Gling AI, you have the option to upload multiple tracks, for example, when you're working on a podcast. You can also give a script to Gling, which will make sure you have a 100 percent accuracy but it's not necessary click on continue right now you can choose the options first make sure cut silences cut bad takes and remove filler words are enabled i also like to remove audio noise and enhance my audio you can also enable the like and subscribe button which is a cool reminder for you guys and of course let's not forget to enable the smart captions and then click on enhance and edit once it's done you will see the timeline as you can see here's my script if you want you can use the text-based video editor to tweak your video. For example, you can highlight a part and click the scissors to remove that part of your video. This will also be gone from the timeline of course. I prefer to toggle off the show cuts feature because I don't need to see them. Next, I always adjust the pacing too fast because these are studio recordings for tutorials. If you go to the enhanced tab, you can enable smart captions, which we already did. You can then customize your captions as much as you want. The audio enhancer works really well, so I recommend turning it on. Then of course, you can also add b-rolls to your video by toggling this button. All that's left to do is export it and then drag that file straight into the timeline. This saves me about an hour per day because of all the channels I run. Thank you Gling AI so much for sponsoring this video. But now let's continue testing Premiere's limits. Moving on to the auto reframe feature. This will actually turn your horizontal videos into vertical ones. Let me show you how it works. First in the project panel find your sequence and right click it. Then find the auto reframe feature. In here you can choose the dimensions of your 
your new sequence. And you can choose if you want the clip to be nested or not. Then click on create. Now the AI will automatically animate your motion properties so that the subject stays in frame. And as you can see, this worked really well with the car. I tried this with a few other shots as well, and overall, it does a great job. That said, I actually haven't really used it a lot. Let me know down below if you guys use it every now and then. Now let's move on to enhanced speech. This is an AI feature you can find back in the essential sound panel. You can use this to enhance your selected speech clip to remove background noise and increase the quality to make it sound professional. Let's try it on one of my recordings. So here's your clip in the timeline. Now we're gonna find the transform effect in the effects library and if you hear this for the first time, it sounds amazing. The noise is gone, quality is great, perfect. But after using it for a few times, you're starting to recognize it. Every clip that's processed by this tool has a similar tone to it. We can only hope this tool gets better and better in the future. Next, I wanna take a look at scene edit detection. This is already an old feature, but to be honest, I haven't really used it much. Let me drag a random video, one of my older videos straight into the timeline and check out what it can do. Right click the clip and choose scene edit detection. Then make sure apply a cut at each detected cut point is selected and then click on analyze. Let it do its thing and once it's done you will see that Premiere added a bunch of cuts to your video. Let's take a look. This animation only has one layer of text and I see that Abdul duplicated it three times right here. So also the captions really cool but they're centered throughout the entire video so it kind of overlaps with important elements just like it does right now. And this is how you can create. This is almost perfect. I did find an unnecessary cut in my video, but hey, it's an old feature and it works pretty good. So if you're a video editor, it's time to learn After Effects right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.